Hi, I'm Dave Keith from New Designs Web Marketing. I'm one of the Drupal trainers here at New Designs. My role is to teach our clients how to use and edit their Drupal website. This video series is based on Drupal version 7, currently the latest release, as well as a custom installation of add-on Drupal modules here at New Designs. Your own Drupal website may be slightly different, but the concepts are likely the same. So, let's get started. One of the first things you're going to want to know is how to log in to a Drupal 7 website. Your web professional may have set you up with a user account and a password, as well as certain roles and permissions on your Drupal website. To log into a Drupal website, you need to go to an unpublished page called User. Now, your website may have a link, login link, or it may not. But in this case, this sample site does not have a link, and so I'm going to go to a login screen by adding the slash user, as you can see up here, to the end of the current domain. And I do that, and I go to a user login screen. And from there, if I have forgotten my password that was set up for me, I can request a new one right here. But I do need to know my username or email address that the account was registered with. So I will log in, and I am successfully logged into this website. The first indication that shows I'm logged in, I, I see up here, I've got a black bar across the top. These menus allow me to control the functionality of my Drupal site, as well as I see here I'm logged in, and I can click this uh, upper right-hand corner, and I can log out. So that is how you log into your Drupal website.